feel for low light shots. We had the chance to grapple with this mighty mobile in Tokyo and so far we like very much. The Xperia XA Ultra sports the same gorgeous edge-to-edge -edge screen design as Sony's original Xperia XA, but this time it's in a much bigger 6-inch form. However, while the XA Ultra is a bit of a beast, Sony reckons that it feels more like a 5.5-inch phone thanks to those minimal bezels. Well, your handspan will definitely be tested, but impressively the phone is just 79mm wide, a result of that complete lack of side bezels. We found that you still have to wield it with two hands of course, but at least it won't form too much of a bulge if it's stashed in your shorts. Water resistance has sadly again been cut in order to trim the price of the handset, while the Ultra also has no fingerprint sensor just like the X8 before it. That full HD 6 inch screen sports an HD resolution, and although there's no support for Sony's X Reality display tech, which sharpens up your images on the fly, you do at least get that super vivid mode to boost the display's colours. As for storage, the Xperia X8 Ultra packs in just 16 gig of memory, but don't fret if you have a massive media collection because a micro SD memory card is supported. You. That's especially good news if you want to take loads of snaps using the Xperia XA Ultra's impressive pair of cameras. The selfie camera in particular is an absolute beast. This is a 16 megapixel front facing cam which boasts a single LED flash to light up your mug at night. There's even built in optical image stabilisation to eliminate those blurry nightclub shots when your arm is a little unsteady. We're looking at you Rummy. You also get Sony's brand new night portrait flash mode, which combines rapid fire shots with the flash on and off to successfully capture both the background and your gorgeous mug at night time. Around the back of the Xperia XA Ultra, you get a 21.5 megapixel Exmor RS camera with hybrid autofocus and object tracking. That's a feature already found on the Xperia X. This helps to keep your subject nice and sharp even when they're moving fast by predicting their future position as the lens fires. A MediaTek Helio V10 processor runs the show on the Xperia XA Ultra, just as it did on the Xperia XA. Backed by 3 gigs of RAM, the Xperia XA Ultra should enjoy solid performance. Our hands-on unit was a prototype sadly, so we couldn't really properly test it. And Sony reckons you'll get up to 2 days of battery life from a single charge, which we reckon means you should manage about a day and a half with standard everyday use. Fast charge is of course supported, so just 10 minutes of charge will give you over 5 hours of life. The Sony Xperia XA Ultra will be available worldwide when it's released 